YouTube! ¿Qué pasa? Welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video. Right, another member of the Max Transcended family is finally here. And it's Dordoni, the, I don't know, Latino uh, Taekwondo Aranka dude. Yeah. I think that that suits the most. Anyways, this character, bro, I had him, I had him four of no five or five actually for quite some time, but I kind of hesitated leveling him up and maxing him out. Um, I don't know. I, I wasn't feeling this character, but then I got aware of the fact that he's actually Captain Killer, and he's actually a pretty solid side unit for Captain Week, and. He is a damage taken minus 20% soul trade, which basically makes him a perfect link for PvP chat if you're using him. So definitely, definitely um, a good addition to my team. And here's a showcase. So let's jump into this. Um, I only sadly have him at SP Freestar. Bro, like you get an SP Freestar from one... From, I'm, 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 bro, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is taken. This is serious. I got from one roll, Freestar SP. That's 20k worth of transcendence points. For my six anniversary eyes, and I spent 300k of, of transcendence points, and I'm only getting SP2 star. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still trying to get a uh, free star attack here since he's a nut unit. Um, but as for now, I'm, I'm just keeping it like that. I haven't got many transcendence points at the moment, which I'm willing to spend for this character. But yeah, that's that's coming. Anyway, soul trait minus 20%. Uh, makes him, like I said, a perfect link. And in terms of skills, he doesn't have any status ailments, unfortunately. Um, he does have paralyzed resistance, which makes him perfect for Captain this week. Um, he has increased, uh, he has Berserker base of 60%. I think um, Bruiser was base also 60%. Um, he has decreased damage taken minus 20%. Again, um, reduced strong attack cooldown. Was it built in, actually? Yeah, it's actually built in, bro. That is actually sick. So he has reduced strong attack cooldown 12%. He does have the team party increased power attribute Aranka. Uh, normal attack damage skill. Um, long reach. He's a flurry character plus one. I did give him damage to paralyzed enemies and damage to weakened enemies. Why? Because my main lead is 6th anniversary Eisen and my booster is Ch uh, is y uh, Yiwach, which is basically... Um, the reason I uh, chose this lineup, I may, I may change it around again. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to test him first in Captain Speak because I literally never played with this character. So I'm going to have to see how it works. Anyways, and he does have Sprinter plus one. Sadly, no Sprinter plus two, but Sprinter plus one is all right for his purpose. Yeah, that's basically Tordoni. And in case you're wondering, Arena, um, yeah, nothing too spectacular. Only normal attack damage plus 30%. Um, not really... Not really that good um, to be using in arena, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, if you like this character, you might as well want to use him, depending on uh, how you feel like it. So let's jump into some gameplay and let's actually test him out. I do want to see how he actually performs in current extreme co-op as well. So let's let's go right into this. So we joined the room quickly. Like I, I just hosted rooms. Like I don't know what is it. I probably the time. <laughs> Probably at this time, nobody doing runs. Anyways, yeah, let's. I just joined this room to see um, what the damage up is. But sadly, or luckily, at least there's two Yamas in there and one Kenny. I think uh, I might not even get a shot at anything. But let's let's still see how it goes. Um, otherwise, um, I'm just gonna do some PVE content afterwards. So. I don't like his attacking style, to be honest. Like, I, I'm not feeling it. Like, especially since he's uh, a melee nad um, unit. I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling it, to be honest. But again, his main purpose for me is being a um, side unit for guild quest and being a good link for my chat. So I suppose he's doing all right with the purpose he is predetermined to be to be to be doing anyways but yeah um i don't know i'm not i'm not feeling it so far i'm not convinced um could be also that i'm playing okay he's doing 27k per hit right there off killer um 31k not too shabby actually considering he doesn't even have 
Um, he doesn't even have a uh, three star attack, and this is co op. Um, he's actually doing good damage. Oh, generally surprised. 15k, 37k on one hit? Bro. There he is again. Love the fact that he has uh, paralyzed resistance, which basically makes him the perfect. Oh, 47k on one hit there. Yo. Yo, yo, that is that is a heavy in character right there. Um, I haven't used none of his strong attacks right there. What, what does he even have? Okay, that one. Right, the SA2 is basically crowd control. In case you're wondering why people actually like him so much for um, for uh, Captain's Week in Guild Quest, um, since his SA2 is crowd control CC, basically makes him a very good side unit. Um, currently, I have been using uh, Kenpachi, um, Safui Kenpachi, but this Dordoni should be better than him. So, Dordoni going in hard. Let's go. So, the crowd control is not doing much damage, but it's basically doing what it's supposed to do, which is basically stunning the enemies and keeping them on par. Um, I've chosen to do PvE content now because Extreme Corps is just taking ages. Um, let's see. He doesn't have guard break built in. So if he was to ever use him like an auto run or anything, bad choice. Like the fact that he doesn't have guard break makes him actually less desirable in some, some instances. Um, nevertheless, he does have good strong attacks for a, for a NUD unit, which is actually surprising. And I like the fact that he has built in, um, that he has built in a uh, reduced strong attack cooldown. Basically, um, if if you're not aiming to get your sub one second runs or stuff like that in, uh, in, in Captain's Week, then obviously doing, doing with this character should be fine because he basically recovers pretty fast even on a full nut build, which is insane. Damage numbers right here, considering he's completely off killer and no attribute advantage. I'm um, he's all right, 18k. So if he was on attribute advantage, if he was on killer, he'd probably be doing 50 to 57k per hit um, on these enemies. Um, I could imagine. So yeah. Actually, want to see his uh, soul bomb. Never actually seen this soul bomb in action. So kind of curious how it actually looks. Gonna spam it on the last room. But yeah, I'm I'm actually thinking as well, like the way this character plays itself. So to, to play with him manually and PvE content wise, wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, but if you're solely like myself, um cho choosing to use this character for, for guild quest and as a link, then obviously maximum out is definitely worth it since it gives a huge power boost. Um, but nevertheless, yeah, his, his soul bomb couldn't kill him. But nevertheless, um, PvE content not too good. So yeah, there you have it. Dordoni, Max Transcender, T20 Showcase. Um, again, as I said, very good character for Guild Quest Captain's Week. Very good side unit, very good character um, to use as a um, damage taken minus 20% link, especially for Chad, TYBW Chad. Um, gives him a good power boost. Apart from that, doesn't really shine too much, in all honesty. Like, co-op, I wouldn't really play with this character unless it's like a 50% bonus unit in epic raids and stuff. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't really use him. Um, PvE content-wise, he lacks guard break and hit hidden enemies. So using him as an auto nut runner wouldn't really work out. He'd probably die. Um... But yeah, like the occasional run, obviously, if you're playing manually with him, he, 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 you get the job done. But yeah, it's not really that fun in all honesty. I don't really like the character design as well. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm kind of trash talking him right now. But I'm not really feeling the character design. Um, again, but I only max and send him, like I said, for Guild Quest and as a link. Um, but yeah, I probably you probably can see now why I hesitated to making his character maxed out for a while. Like I even chose to max out other units instead of him. But actually happy now. Um, now that I have a perfect Captain's Week side unit, um, actually optimal. Still need to get the free star attack, but that's on the way. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the like button, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys next time.